Hey, -o. so I'm here with a comic book haul. Um, I think I got six issues from this week, um, which is January, the week of January 11th. Um, one issue from last week, and then one back issue, as well as um, a prize that I won from Seeking Near Mint Comics, um, his 100 subscriber um, contest. First, opening up a beer camp. Uh, it's a golden IPA. I've had this once before. Um, it's pretty good. It's more of a mild IPA, which I think I've said before. Um, which has been my taste lately. Okay, get the beer away. I'm going to start off with my prize, which was Ninjak number one. Um, what is it? It's a Emerald City Comic Con variant. Um, I think it's one in six hundred or six hundred copies of it were made. It's also signed by Matt Kent, who I'm a fan of. Um, super excited about this. Thank you so much, Seeking Nearmet Comics. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's my first C um, graded comic. Um, the only <laughs> the only problem I have is now I have to go find another number one so I can read it, um, which is also exciting to me because um, I've wanted to get into this um, Ninjak series. So yeah, again, thank you so much. Um, it's a great contest, fun to do an entry, and yeah. All right, let's get into the rest of my haul. So I read most of these books, um, with the exception of two. I've only read part of, I only started reading Batgirl and Birds of Prey, issue number six. The writers are Benson sisters, and then um, and the artist is Antonio Roge, I think. Or Roge Antonio. Um, I read half of this. Um, it was a little, number five was my least favorite issue of the series so far. Um, so I don't have super high hopes for this. This issue so far is all kinds of one-liner, one-liner, one-liner after another jokey one-liners, um, which kind of annoys me. Um, and also the other artist, Claire Rowe, is is um, one of the main reasons I started picking up this series. So, so I don't know. Um, I'm going to read this full issue again and... Uh, Give it another chance, probably pick up seven, but um, it's on a short leash. The color says Pasalacqua. Alright, then the other issue I did not read, I have not read, is um, Angel City, issue number four. Um, it's written by Janet Harvey, illustrated by Megan Levins, and colored by Nick Filardi. Um, I like the art in this book. Um, it's not my favorite kind of art, but, um, but it's real fun. I love the story in this book. Um, it's crime noir where this is our main character and she's doing most of the investigating. Um, but yeah, I haven't read this issue, but I highly recommend the series. Um, yeah. Angel City, issue four. Then I read Batman Detective Comics, issue 948. Um, I hesitated on this and then went back to another store and picked it up. Um, I really don't like the artwork in this book. Um, it's real slick. Um, I do like... Um, okay, so who's working on this book? Tinian the fourth and uh, I think it's Marguerite Bennett and the artist is Ben Oliver um, so yeah I don't necessarily like Ben Oliver's artwork um, I think his figures his drawing of figures um, and faces is is pretty great but there's 
there's like a softness or a, a slickness that um, I don't like. And then there's a, a lot of these um, moments where characters are breaking the, the panels, which is kind of a pet peeve of mine, um, unless there's a reason. Um, like, why is Batman's head up in this panel? Um, it, I don't know, that just bothers me. And I thought the story was fairly boring. Um, it was thin. There's some, uh, it sounds like the, the, um, the infection or whatever, the serum that the bad guy from the Night of the Monster Men had created is mutating other animals. And I think, so these are seagulls who have mutated and they had to fight them. And then there's this other woman who's like a mad scientist who's coming to help. Um, but then I think Batman's getting double-crossed and there's this character called the Belfry um, who I don't know so I have no interest in. But um, yeah, really makes me bummed that I picked this up and uh, makes me very much question if I'm going to read the next issue of this series. I haven't been picking it up. I just picked this up because of um, I'm excited about the Bat woman series and um, and I thought this would be uh, um, maybe a beginning to it. Um, so then the next issue I read was Motor Crush is issue 2. Um, I enjoyed this. I was a little bit bummed at the beginning but I was also a little bit bummed by the beginning of the first issue. I'm not a, so the artist is Babs Tar. Um, it's written by Brendan Fletcher and Stuart, I think, um, Stuart is doing the colors, um, Cameron Stewart. I'm not a huge fan of, um, Babstar's artwork, um, kind of a similar thing with Angel City, um, I'm enjoying it in this book, um, but I, I guess I'm not naturally drawn to, like, the, the cartooniness. Um, so in this issue, um, we meet a new character. I'm blanking on her name, but it's a, it's a past love of our main character, um, uh, who I'm also f forgetting, blanking on her name. Um, but so they, so we get the introduction to her character. Um, we get them they're having a little bit of um, social problems in terms of whether or not they're gonna hang, help each other, whether or not they want to see each other at all. Um, her ex is in trouble, has with debt, and um, and her main character um, is helping her out while also being in trouble because she previously um, stole a drug and yeah so there's this m mob drug dealers that are after them um as the issue went on i uh i found myself enjoying it much more beautiful action scenes um and and it's continuing to set up so i'm still very excited about this series even though um i didn't love the issue um it's real fun the action i would say is the best part of this book then I also read Southern Bastards, issue number 16. Um, it's written by Jason Aaron with art by Jason Latour. Um, I'm not sure, but I think Latour might also be doing the colors. Um, I was excited to see this character and see how she continues to um, deal with coming back home and the... the problems with the town and the problems with with um yeah I guess mostly the problems with the town the problems with um the disrespect of her dad her dad's her father's name who died early on in the series um but yeah this issue um for the most part 
was was a so I think his name is Coach Boss. Um, his plan from the previous issue was to um, beat up one of the best teams running backs that they're about to play. Um, so they go do that. Also beat up his family, put them in the hospital, and then the game happens. Um, but that's pretty much it. So it was a decent story. Um, I feel like uh, it definitely wasn't filler. Um, it's leading somewhere, but um, I'm more excited about the next issue than, than this particular issue. Then I read Violent Love, issue number three. Um, it's written by Frank J. Barbieri and art by Victor Santos with um, Eastman on colors. Is that right? That well, might be Santos doing colors too, actually. Um, this issue... Um, I don't have much to... Yeah, I don't know that I have much to say about it. Um, and... This issue, paired with the last issue, are making me less excited about this series. Um, I like the art. It's a little bit awkward. Um, I very much like the color. Um, she's basically looking for the people that killed her father in the first issue. Um, and she's doing that by getting close to this other um, gang. Um, and it ends with a, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Not that it ends, but lots of people die. Um, she gets out, screws things up, gets a little bit of information. Um, but, but yeah, I guess I'm hoping, I guess I'm kind of feeling the same way I did about Southern Bathursters in, in terms of it not being a filler, but it leading to something. Um, and yeah, so I need to read more to see really how excited I am about this series. And finally I picked up, oh well, I'll do the issues that I did from last week. I picked up Batman issue number 14, which was, I thought, a fairly beautiful love story between Batman and Catwoman. Um, They're basically courting each other. Catwoman's courting him more heavily, um, talking about how she wants the night, the night for them. Um, and there's this talk about having one beautiful night. Um, and they beat up some some bad guys, and, and then spend some time together. Um, I love the art in this issue. It's done by Gerard's, um, and it's written by Tom King. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, I kind of hope that Catwoman double crosses Batman and, um, and, uh, kind of, and messes with Batman's head, um, damages him, um, I don't know why exactly I want that, um, and then also, um, I anticipate that Batman's gonna try to clear her name, because the, the thing, the whole issue is that, uh, Catwoman's supposed to go to prison for life after this night, Batman's gonna turn him in, but also it's gonna try to clear her name, it sounds like. So yeah, I'm excited about the next issue. Then the back issue I got was Secret Avengers number two. This is volume three. It's written by Alish Cott and with art by, um, I think it's Michael Walsh. Yeah, Michael Walsh. And then colors by Matthew Wilson. 
love the art in this book. Um, I haven't started reading it because my 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 run is spotty. I didn't have two. Now I'm um, I have one and three, and I'm missing four. So I'll probably look for four and then start reading it. Um, but yeah, anyway, excited about this book. And finally, I picked up the trade for Renato Jones and the One Percent. Um, I stayed away from this book because I picked it up a bunch of times while when it was in singles, and I wasn't sure about the artwork. And I'm thinking more and more that I'm going to probably buy singles that include artwork that I'm in love with. Um, and then start moving to trades on artwork that I'm unsure about. Um, I don't know much about this story except that the main character is a son of someone who is in the 1%, so one of the richest people in the world. Um, and he becomes like a superhero character and, and kills some people, um, some power in the world. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to check it out, see how it goes. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful Friday night, Friday the 13th, yep. Uh, and hope you all enjoyed your comics this week.